Hi friends, welcome back. If you're new to Tranquility Moms, my name is Katherine and I'm so glad to connect with you. Today we're going to be looking at your packing for your vacation. There's so much planning and things that you're putting together to close up the house, get the kids ready, and get on the road. But what if you incorporated some wellness into your vacation? Can you imagine how you would feel more relaxed, more rejuvenated? But what should you bring with you on this trip so that you as mom can really focus on some TLC for yourself, right? We want some rest and relaxation on this trip, really so that we feel it now and when we return. But what is it that you should pack? So I've got three must-have items that you can pack on your vacation for your do-it-yourself wellness travel. And stick around, I came up with a bonus item. As we dragged through 2020, I was looking forward to our first opportunity to travel again, and we picked Florida. I said, all right, if we can go, these are all the things we need to pack up. I've got my list, I've got our suitcases out, but I really was thinking about, is vacation going to be just more of the same? Are we going to get there and I'm on as mom, right? Vacation can sometimes even have more challenges than the stress that we have at the house. So what would be the way to really relax and rejuvenate body, mind, and soul on this trip? So I started to put together, I'm, I'm a health coach, and I looked at, okay, what are the things that we do for health and wellness? And I'm taking it right from the Wellness Tourism Association, who identified that wellness travel is about maintaining or enhancing or even kickstarting a healthy lifestyle. And that's going to bring into your life, on a day-to-day -day basis, great well-being. If we want to incorporate that kind of wellness travel into a family vacation, I need to look at what are the things that I can even pack and plan ahead for that kind of peace of mind and a healthy body. The first tip that I have for what is a must-have to pack on your vacation for do-it-yourself wellness travel is to bring a journal. And this notebook can be something you've already been writing in. Maybe it's something pretty and new that you picked up, especially for this trip. Or you have found an app on your phone that you really like, and it brings you a place of creativity and has prompts to get you thinking. Journaling is so helpful. And so many times we think of it as a negative of, oh, I'm only going to journal when I'm stressed out. I'm going to vent about all the problems that I have. But what if we use journaling for both purposes on your vacation? Part of it is about sorting through things you've been stuck. You've got quiet time in your beach chair or sitting by the cabin at night. Think about what are the things that you have been struggling with. But also, let's use that journal as a place to also put down our positives. That can be a place where you put your five gratitudes. I mentioned that in the totally relaxed video or if you're looking at the positives and you want to remember and cherish some of these positive interactions connections that you're having with your husband and the kids ways that you can really spark all of these relationships based on how well it's going on the vacation and i know that not every moment on the vacation is peaceful and happy but that's what we want to center our minds to Part of wellness is being able to change our attitude, and that changes the lens that we look at our situations through. So journaling is a wonderful way to sit in your quiet on the vacation, appreciate the downtime without filling it with schedules, with filling it with social media, and just sit in the quiet and allow you to be with your thoughts and your feelings. The second part of must-have travel packing items is about your walking shoes. Don't forget to bring comfortable shoes. Something that you can take a hike or a stroll. This is an easy way to get in your movement on vacation. We could eat a lot of foods that don't agree with us or are more sugary than we're used to. It's great to get up and get walking. Move your circulation, bring in that fresh air, 
take a look at the nature and the beauty that is around you. That walk, whether it's a quiet walk in the morning, that's one of my favorite things on vacation, is that while everybody's still quietly getting up and starting their day, I take a walk around the resort. And I love the friendliness of the staff in the morning and just the peacefulness before all the hustle and bustle at the poolside, looking around at the landscape and the clean air that is in front of us. And I think, oh my goodness, God, I am so grateful for this day and what is gonna be ahead for special memories that we're gonna make on this vacation. So those walking shoes are a prompt to you to either kind of look at the day and see when is a good time to go for a walk alone, or maybe it's we're all going together and we're gonna go and check out that new place that someone told us about in town. We're gonna walk there and just take a look at the adventure and the scavenger items we find along the way and having conversation and interacting with each other right here in this moment. My third item for a must-have item to pack if you're planning to incorporate more wellness into your family vacation is to think about a devotional book, something that has a spiritual tone to it, something that gets you thinking and reflecting kind of outside of yourself and just what your family is going through. You figure out what is most comfortable for you. Is it a devotional book or is it a devotional app on your phone? On my phone, I use the YouVersion app and I'll select a three day or five day or seven day devotional. It prompts me every morning uh, to sit down and be with scripture and look at very powerful words of making me reflect on my life, on our marriage, on my parenting, on myself. How do I want to better myself? How do I want to inspire and encourage myself to really feel like I'm living my best life? And those words, those readings can help me to think about those situations that I'm in in a whole different way. I'm currently writing a devotional book and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you so that you can take it on your vacations in the year 2022. Another place that I have found good devotionals is on Candace Cameron Bure's page. I have her new Bible, One Step Closer. She certainly, inside the Bible, has a lot of reflection uh, boxes and areas that make you think and pull together some of the scripture in a little bit of more depth, a little bit more of connecting with it and how it applies to you in your life. She also has written several wonderful devotional books that have those sections of thinking about these words, reflecting on them, applying them, a little journal section to really pull out some of your thoughts and your feelings. After I took a look at the list of those three must-haves, having a journal notebook, having your walking shoes, and having your devotional book, those are things that are gonna help you body, mind, and soul to really find your best wellness on this vacation. But I came up with a bonus item and I thought you could also pamper yourself. You can buy a bath bomb kit where you and the kids make the bath bombs together. There are pampering kits uh, that you can buy on Amazon or on your favorite Bed Bath & Beyond website so that you're putting together some spa time right there in your hotel room or your cottage because you may not be able to book a full day spa or you may not be able to have a long massage time but a nice bubble bath with some beautiful music and a candle burning again allows you to get to that deep relaxation that we're looking for that way of rejuvenating ourselves in do-it-yourself wellness travel my name is Katherine Gardner. I am so glad that you are here. I invite you to write down in the comments below, what is your favorite way of pampering yourself on vacation? Is there a certain tool or tip that you'd like to share with other moms that you have found to be your favorite on vacation as well? I'm so glad that you're here. Please subscribe. I send out new videos every Friday for you to go from stressed to refreshed. And today, take care of yourself.